two of our NU and Crash Course is amendments. Um, so I will be talking about how to create an amendment and Winnie will be talking about the poor speech that you give with your amendment. So one thing you'll learn with the whole NUN program is that it's really important for you to stand out. Uh, the best way to do this is to have a really strong amendment and opening speech, which you'll discover later. Um, but on the online debate where you interact with 15 to 20 new delegates, um, some of whom you've never met before, they will all have different ideas on what the best solution is for the um, conflict. But what is most important here is that you have to have a clause and speech prepared that is different from the standard, you know, educate the population through social media and billboards and stuff. Um, try to expand your thinking and your research in ways that others may not have thought of. Some tips for this would be to try and reference any up and coming technology that can be useful in the situation. For example, if you had something about um, a water crisis, uh, thinking of new technology that could be useful and affordable uh, for people in the region, that's a good strategy. Um, and then to keep in mind all sides of the issue, you don't just want to cater to the rich people or to the poor people, you want to cater to everyone, make sure it's affordable. Uh, keep your clauses, whoa, excuse me, keep your clauses <laughs> detailed yet to the point and always think about affordability in whatever you're suggesting. Yeah. So once you've got a good amendment, the next step is obviously to get it passed. Now, a good written clause should speak for itself, but obviously as the submitter of the amendment, or later on if you go on to submit a resolution, you want to have a strong speech that keeps your audience engaged. What I recommend is you take your main topic and break it down into two to three areas. Now, this can be the main topic of the whole um, debate, or this can be the topic that your clause addresses. So for instance, if you're talking about women's rights and your clause addresses child marriage, then you break that down into a couple of parts to address when you're talking about child marriage. That could be the criminalization of underage marriage, so legislation, that could be government enforcement and perhaps support systems. Now that you have these three subtopics, so to speak, you have to talk about how your clause addresses each three of these subtopics. In this case, you don't have to read through your clause or go through your clause at, at a great length, but at the same time, you make a speech that's passionate about these different parts of the issue, and then you reference different subclauses in your clause to show the House how your, um, your amendment is a very viable solution and will be productive and will be relevant to the issue. Because oftentimes, if you have a detailed clause, delegates will wonder how relevant it is. And by speaking in this way, you keep the House engaged and you make sure they know how it connects to different parts of the issue. This will also make certain questions which are more irrelevant or which detract from the main focus that you're trying to set uh, through your amendment, like unlikely when you're taking points of information later on. Okay, yeah, that's about it. That's all for amendments. Thanks for watching.